As football manager, what does it really take? Listen now on Sounds of the Behind the Scenes podcast, Moment of Truth. Probably to watch now on BBC iPlayer and laugh out loud entertainment with those insufferable neighbours two doors down. I gave up many years ago trying to analyse this bunch and why it works. It's not only about music. The greatest rock and roll band in the world. No one has seen anything like it. Music is a resilient thing. God is the only thing we've got that we can trust. Celebrating the Stones at 60. My life is a rolling stone. Press red for all episodes on BBC iPlayer. I'm going to watch the She's the Patient Breathing. Now on BBC One, Rita Chakramarty in Birmingham and Martin Cronksall in the studio with the BBC News at One. Today at One, Birmingham prepares for the start of the Commonwealth Games with the opening ceremony taking place here at Alexander Stadium tonight. More than 5,000 athletes from 72 nations and territories will take part over 11 days of competition with excitement building ahead of tonight's event. Um, I'm from here, I'm from Birmingham, so for my family and for myself it's, it's history in the making. We'll look at what's in store and hear what people in the region think of the games being held here. The other headlines on the BBC News at 1. A mother whose baby was murdered by the woman trying to adopt him tells the BBC he'd still be alive if he'd been left with her. Energy companies post big increases in profits as UK customers face soaring household bills. I don't die! Tributes are paid to the star of the railway children and narrator of the Wombles, Bernard Cribbin, who's died aged 93. As in the northwest, the mum of a Barrow baby murdered by the woman hoping to adopt him brands her son's killer a monster. And Liverpool Council's under fire again for the energy fiasco that could cost the city millions. Good afternoon and welcome to the BBC News at One. The Commonwealth Games 2022 opens here at the Alexander Stadium in 